What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we are coming back with another Bracketology video updating the latest from Joe Lenardi. If you have not already, make sure to join my Bracket Challenge. I'll put the link in the description. That is still available to join. We have over 10 people in the group now. Let's try to get that up to 20 before the tournament starts. And to start off this Bracketology video, just like I start off the last one, we'll talk about Teams that have already punched their ticket to the tournament, Murray State, Chattanooga, Georgia State, Longwood, Loyola, Chicago, Wright State, Delaware, South Dakota State, Bryant, Jacksonville State, and Gonzaga. Now this week's last updated uh, March 9th at 12 a.m. And without further ado, let's dive right on in. Actually, I forgot I was going to mention the games from earlier today. Forgot to do that. Now, I'd say the biggest surprise of the day, for sure, is Syracuse absolutely blowing the doors off of Florida State, 96-57. to And Boston College upsetting the five-seed Wake Forest in the ACC tournament in overtime. And then Stanford won on a buzzer beater in the Pac-12 tournament. Butler beating Xavier in overtime. Oregon State keeping it a little bit close against Oregon. Missouri beating Ole Miss in the SEC tournament. That was a good one. Northwestern beating Nebraska in the Big Ten tournament was a good one. Still have Georgia and Vandy to go. Still have Minnesota and Penn State. Cal and Washington State. Still have Georgetown and Seton Hall. Louisville, Virginia. Utah and Washington. Still several good games remain, so obviously this won't be me re recapping and looking at the bracketology from the whole day because I would be making that type of video at like 2 in the morning and I am not going to do that. So let's dive right into the brackets. First, we have the three teams that they have in the bracket watch category. Top overall seed, of course, Gonzaga. First team out, still Indiana, according to Joe Lenardi, and the last team in, still at SMU. Let's look at these bubble teams. Wake Forest, with their loss to Boston College today, I believe will plummet in those rankings. They might go all the way over into the next four out column, or maybe not even on the bubble with their loss to Boston College. I think it's highly unlikely that they make the tournament now. Along with Xavier, with their overtime loss to Butler, I just really do not see them making the tournament now with 13 losses and only 18 wins. I just think it's highly unlikely. Unfortunately for them, they had a pretty solid season, but with losing in your conference tournament and having that many losses already, it's just highly unlikely that you're going to get in. And within the net, this next four out category, I'd like to talk about because Florida and A&M are going at it tomorrow at noon. And the, this matchup is very important for who will be one of who will still be on the bubble this time tomorrow because Florida and A&M, the winner of this most likely will make the tournament, in my opinion. But the loser of this, I would I believe, is completely out of conversation. Because I don't think Florida has good enough of a resume to lose to Texas A&M and still get in. Same thing with Texas A&M. I just don't think if either of these teams loses, I believe they will be out of this picture entirely. But if they win, I believe they will continue to move on into the NCAA tournament. Now let's move in to the 68 team bracket. Very minor changes from yesterday. Like I said, pretty much only Xavier and Wake Forest are going to be your main changes. Like all the playings are still the same. Nichols, Alcorn State, Xavier and Wyoming, Wright State and Bryant, and SMU and Rutgers. All of that still very similar. But let's first dive into the West region. Gonzaga versus Nichols slash Alcorn State. 8 and 9, BTCU, San Diego State. The 5 versus the 12 would be Yukon and North Texas. The 4 versus the 13 would be Arkansas and Vermont. 
The 6 and the 11 will be LSU and Michigan, which I believe will be a very good game. And that might be one of the 11 over 6 upsets. And then we have Texas Tech versus Seattle. The 7 and the 10 will be Colorado State and Wake Forest. This will be probably one of the ones that will change at this time tomorrow. This will be very different with their loss to Boston College. They will plummet to might not be even be listed in the tournament. I highly doubt they will be. And the two in the 15, Wisconsin and Long Beach State. Moving on to the South region, we have one seeded Baylor versus Norfolk State, eight seeded Michigan State versus nine seeded San Francisco, five and 12 being Alabama and South Dakota State, four and 13 UCLA and Iona, six and the 11 Iowa and Davidson. 3 in the 14, Tennessee and Princeton. 7 in the 10, Boise State and Creighton. 2 in the 15, Duke and Jacksonville State. So yeah, pretty much the only change in this one would be Wake Forest. They will not be here in tomorrow's Bracketology. It was just a very ugly loss for them to Boston College. Did not look good at all. And that is really going to hurt their tournament bid because I do not think they're going to get in now. Next, let's move on to the East region, the East and Midwest. One seed, Kansas versus Delaware, who won their conference championship. Eight and the nine, Seton Hall versus Murray State. Five and the 12, be Houston versus Xavier slash Wyoming. But it won't be Xavier anymore with their overtime loss to Butler. Very likely that one of these bubble teams right here will take Xavier's spot. 4 and 13, Illinois and Toledo. 6 and the 11, Ohio State and Memphis. 3 and the 14, Villanova and Longwood. Longwood won their conference championship. 7 and 10, USC and Notre Dame. 2 and the 15, Kentucky and Georgia State. 1 and the 16, Arizona and Bryant slash Wright State, who both won their conference championships. North Carolina and Iowa State at the 8 and 9. 5 and 12, Texas and Rutgers slash SMU. 4 and the 13, Providence and Chattanooga. 6 and the 11, St. Mary's and Loyola, Chicago. 3 and the 14, Purdue and Montana State. 7 and the 10, Marquette and Miami. And 2 and the 15, Auburn and Colgate. So the only differences I'm really seeing at, it's pretty much the same from yesterday, except for tomorrow, Wake Forest and Xavier will definitely not be in the projected bracket, and these bubble teams will most likely vary. Let's look at the conference breakdown. Eight teams in the Big Ten, seven in the Big East, six in the Big 12, six in the SEC, five in the ACC, four in the Mountain West, three in the WCC, three in the Pac-12, and three in the American Conference. That is about it for today's Bracketology. If you want more, if you want a video tomorrow and every day up until Selection Sunday, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like, comment if you want some more, and make sure to join my Bracketology, or sorry, join my Bracket Challenge. Link will be in the description below. Hope you guys have a great day. Can't wait for March Madness. There will be multiple streams. Not sure what my schedule is for streaming, because there will be 100 games going on at once. It will feel like 100 games going on at once. So we'll just have to see what happens. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys. And I can't wait for March Madness to start.